What is going on everyone? In this video, I am gonna show you five different ways to utilize your yoga blocks. And not all of them are gonna be that obvious. So if you wanna see them, stay tuned. All right, let's go over five different ways to utilize these yoga blocks. But first, we have a sponsor, and the sponsor is my book, Better Stretching. So if you've ever gotten anything out of my page, uh, I would really appreciate it if you supported me by picking up a book. It's on pre-order right now, but if it's after March 3rd, you see this video after, make sure you pick up a copy. I'll put the link down below, but you can find it at all your favorite retailers like Amazon and Barnes and Noble. I'm gonna place this here so you guys remember. All right, so let's get back to our yoga blocks. Very versatile. So I'm gonna show you the first way, which is probably the most common way and probably the one you know, and it's an extension of the arms. So let's say we're doing something like a wide-legged hamstring stretch. We push our hips back, let's put this down. And you just struggle to get to the floor. You struggle to get your arms down here. What we can do is place the yoga blocks in our hand, do that same motion, but now it stops because it's an extension with a hand. So this is probably a lot more comfortable if you struggle to get all the way down to the ground. But let's say you get a little bit better, and this is too easy. Now we can flip them, bring them down here. Get a little bit better, flip them, and we can go this way. And we can progress and get better until your hands can go all the way to the ground. Another thing you could do is like a world's greatest stretch. If you're coming down here and you bring your arm down, and this is difficult for you, again, extension of the arm and this feels very comfortable. So that is the first way. The second way is support, another very common way to use a yoga block. So let's say we're going into a pigeon pose, hips feeling a little tight, and our hip is up off the ground. What we can do is place that yoga block right underneath, and now it gives us a little bit of support to make this position comfortable. So again, just fits right underneath the butt, fills up that space, a little bit of support. So those are the, probably the two obvious ones. Now I'm gonna go into three that you might have not thought of. And the first one is feedback for stability exercises. So I'm gonna show you a dead bug, which is great for core stability. So knees under hips, hands under shoulders, opposite arm, opposite leg. And the goal here is to keep that midsection, the hip, very steady. What we can do to make sure that we're doing it correctly is place the yoga block on our low back. And then we can repeat the exercise. And if you feel that yoga block moving too much, maybe we need to work on our core stability, but that gives you a nice cue, a nice feedback to make sure that we're keeping that yoga block, nice and steady. Nice and steady here. Yup, my core is working. All right, we don't want it flying all over the place, all right? And our second or our fourth version, or first, fourth one, I can't talk, is using it as a step. And if you struggle with single leg movements, and they can be very difficult, or maybe you have some knee issues and you're really trying to get that stronger, what we can do is step on the yoga block, make sure you have a nice and sturdy one because sometimes they come pretty soft. And from here, we can work on our single leg movements. And again, this isn't that much movement, but if you have an injury, this might be plenty. You can really control our body down. Feels really good. Great place to start on your single leg movements. And now we made it to our last one and it's using it as an obstacle for some exercises. So one of my favorite things to do is doing these things called shoulder lift-offs. Really helps strengthen up the shoulders, uh, just a great overall movement. What we're gonna do is lay on our belly, and we're gonna place the blocks out in front of us, just like this. So in this position, I'm gonna raise my arms as high as I can, and bring them up and over, just like this. 
And we can make it again more difficult by flipping these blocks just over. And now we can see if we can get up and over. Hopefully I can do it and I don't look silly on this video. Got it. So that is another way to use these yoga blocks. So again, quick little reminder. First one is it's an extension of our arms to make some movements a little bit easier. Number two is using it for support. So I use the pigeon pose as an example and putting it under my hips to just kind of lift the ground up so there's a little bit more support. Next one was using it as a stability exercise or using it as feedback. So using that dead bug, oh sorry, that bird dog and making sure that the block stays very steady on that low back. So that's showing you that you're using good core stability. The next one was using it as a step, working on that single leg movement. And then the last one was using it as an obstacle to make your strength exercises just a little bit more difficult, maybe a little bit more fun too. All right, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned a little bit something here. And now you can have five different ways to use your yoga blocks. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out my book, Better Stretching. And I'll catch you guys next time.